All right, here is a question that I would call the final boss of the Hess's Law unit. Six, seven reactions, and we have to use them to build another one, which they have not given us. They want the formation of hydrogen bromide gas. So that, of course, is a reaction that makes HBr. And I'll point this out right now before it burns us. You have to keep track of your states in this one, because in this reaction you're going to see hydrogen bromide in aqueous solution and hydrogen bromide as a gas. So you can have it dissolved in water, you can just have it floating around in a cloud. They are, sep they are different things, they have different energies, and we have to treat them like they're different species when we're doing this problem, or grief will come to us. So. There's our HBr gas that we're trying to produce, and like anything else, when it forms, it forms from pure elements, which would be hydrogen and bromine. And we want that to be balanced, which means we need a 2 right there, and that's it. So it balances without too much trouble. Uh, do we have... I'm just wondering if I have to track states for everything. The hydrogen is only in gas state. Bromine... Oh, we have liquid and aqueous bromine, so I have to watch myself with that one, too. This would be liquid bromine. That's the state on the periodic table. Sorry. Let me make that look more like an L. And I guess if we're tracking states, let's be good and do it for everything. That's hydrogen gas. So this is the reaction we must make. Put a box around that. And we can use any of this array of equations up at the top. Now, I don't know if we're going to need all these reactions. One thing that we sometimes don't tell you is, don't feel like you have to use all the reactions and that something's gone wrong if you don't. Sometimes we'll give you a reaction or two that simply aren't necessary, and Alberta Ed does that on the diploma exam also. So it's good to know that sometimes you can finish the question without using every single one of these reactions. In fact, I hope that's the case, because 7 is getting a little crazy. We can handle it, but come on. Okay, well, we need hydrogen in gas form on the left, one mole, and there's only one reaction that can do that for us, so we're off to an easy start. We'll take that, 1 times reaction 2. And we'll recopy that. All right, that gets us our hydrogen. So far, so good. Uh, we need bromine in liquid state on the left, and there's aqueous bromine. That's no good. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is it. Reaction 6 is the only one that can give us liquid bromine, and it's in the perfect spot, so we don't have to do any flipping or multiplying. We just do 1 times reaction 6. So I'm going to jinx myself now by saying, so far, this is a little too easy. Br2, liquid state, converts to bromine 2 in aqueous state. Oh, and I'm supposed to be tracking delta H's, aren't I? Reaction 2 was minus 184. The whole point of this is to add up the delta H's at the end, so you're really wasting your time if you forget that stuff. Uh, Br2 liquid turning into Br2 aqueous is minus 4.2 kilojoules. Not very much. Okay, back to work. We need two HBr gas on the right. Nope, nope, nope. That's HBr aqueous, that's not it. Nope, nope. Here we go. If we flip this, that'll get us HBr on the right side, and then if we double it, that'll get us the required amount. So we want minus two times reaction 7. So 
this gets flipped to the left and becomes and gets doubled. So we get 2HBr aqueous. This gets flipped to the right and doubled, so we get 2HBr gas. And if we flip and double the entire reaction, we must also flip and double its delta H. So flip this, it becomes 79.9, double it, and you get 159.8. Put plus 159.8, so there's no mistaking it. Okay, good. Um, how are we doing? We've got our hydrogen, we've got our bromine, we've got our HBr gas, so I'm going to box the things that we definitely want to keep to HBr gas. Okay, everything in those boxes makes up the required reactions, so we'd be done except that we've got all this extra stuff here that we have to cancel out. We can't have extras in our reactions, so every one of these must be cancelled out. And so it's a good thing we have this nice array of reactions up here. Um, I don't know what to cancel first. I'm just going to start on the left and work my way over. We have two HBr aqueouses, which must go. And this would be one way to get rid of them, but we already used reaction 7, and I don't want to undo that, so... Actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to say reactions 2, 6, and 7, we've already committed. We don't want to use them again because it will cancel out some of the good stuff that we need for our finished product. So it's only these four reactions that we're still free to call in. Do any of these have HBr aqueous? No, 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 yes. If this gives us two HBr aqueous on the right, it'll cancel these, and then we're good. So we need to flip and double reaction four. Minus two times reaction four. So KBr goes to the left and gets doubled. Two KBr aqueous. Uh, HOH goes to the left and doubles. Um, HBr goes to the right and doubles. And by that I mean HBr aqueous, sorry. And KOH goes to the right and doubles. That's two KOH. Aqueous. And if we flip and double the entire reaction 4, then we flip and double this. So 57.3 doubles to 114.6. Okay. How are we doing? Did that actually clear anything for us? Uh, HBr aqueous is gone. So that's nice. But we've made an awful mess in some other ways. We've now added KBR and HOH, which weren't there before. So is that an improvement? It almost doesn't feel like it. But we'll press on and just kind of trust that whoever made up this problem made it possible. So I've used Reaction 4 now. I can't invoke that again. Ah, uh, what else? This... This KBr has to go. We have two KBr aqueous on the left, which means we need two KBr aqueous on the right to cancel it out. Uh, reaction 5 can't help us. Reaction 3 can't help us. This can. If we flip reaction 1, and actually that's it, it's already got a 2 on it, that will do the job. I'll just say minus reaction 1. So. Bromine aqueous goes to the left. Uh, two potassium chloride aqueous goes to the left. Chlorine goes to the right. And potassium bromide aqueous goes to the right, two of them. 
And if we're flipping all of reaction 1, we flip this also, it becomes plus 96.2. Now how are we doing? Did anything cancel there? Or how much canceled there? KBR aqueous, we have two on the left and two on the right. We can forget about those. Uh, chlorine, have a mole here and a mole here. Those can go. This is KOH, or is it? Yes, this is KOH, this is HOH, so apologies for my writing there. Let me polish that up. This is K, potassium hydroxide. This one is hydrogen hydroxide, a.k.a. water. Okay, what else we got? Did anything else cancel? I thought I saw another one. Oh, bromine aqueous. That goes, and bromine aqueous on the left goes. And we've now used reaction one. We can't call that in again. So, doing better. We still have two HCl on the right, which is not great. Can we clear that off? It's HCl gas. This is HCl aqueous, so that's no good. Yeah, we have to fit reaction 5 into here. We're going to need every single one of these, aren't we? Yikes. have to write smaller and neater than ever before. Okay, let's say I'm getting rid of the HCl gas. Uh, can't use reaction 2. It's going to have to be this one. I need two HCl gases on the left, so it, they'll cancel against these guys, meaning I'm going to double reaction 5. Double that reaction 5, and you get 2HCl gas. Arrow, and 2HCl uh, aqueous. And because I'm doubling reaction 5, I double the delta H, I get minus 154. And what does that cancel? We lose the HCl gas here and here. But we've added HCl aqueous, so that feels like you barely broke even. That's not wonderful. And that was reaction 5. We can't call on that again. So reaction 3, I hope you've got some magic, because you're the only one we have left. Um, let's see, how do we decide how to use this thing? Well, we're not supposed to have HOH on our left side, so we need two HOHs on the right, meaning if we double this reaction, if we go two times reaction three, oh, if we go two times reaction three, that gives us two HCl aqueous. And 2KOH aqueous. Arrow. 2KCL aqueous. And finally, 2 water. 2HOH liquid. And because we doubled reaction 3, we double its delta H. That gives us minus 114.6. It's funny, that's the exact opposite delta H from reaction 4. I wonder if there was a way we could have not used either of those or something. Probably not. I'm trying to imagine a situation where this problem wasn't so much work, but probably best to just suck it up and keep moving. Okay, so we have two water on the left. There they are. Two water on the right. Those cancel. Uh, we have hydrogen chloride or sorry, hydrochloric acid on the left and on the right, two moles of it. We have potassium hydroxide there and there. Those cancel. We have potassium chloride, two moles there and there. <sighs> and that's everything. 
The only survivors now are hydrogen, bromine, and hydrogen bromide, which are precisely what we wanted. And the delta H for all this is going to be the sum of all these delta H's. So if we total that up, minus 184, minus 4.2, plus 159.8, plus 114. You know what? I'm not going to do the 114.6s. I can see they're going to cancel out. So I'm just going to do these last two here, the plus 96.2 and minus 154. And I get a total of minus 86.2 kilojoules. And if you check the solution, they say 43.1. Do you see why that would happen? We just did an example where this happened before. This reaction is for this, meaning two moles of HBr. If you only want a single mole of HBr, you take this energy and divide it by two, and you get minus 43.1 kilojoules per mole. This kilojoules is for the entire reaction. This is for a single mole of HBr.